Day four, 5.15 a.m. Packing up early because Reese wants to get out the field. It's probably the right thing to do, to be honest. Uh, we're in a private field, so we don't want to don't want to be caught here. The only problem is we've we've only got about ten mile to walk to him we're wild camping again, so we're done by twelve. We'll be, <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna have to really dawdle along. Feet are pretty battered up, like so. Uh, we're just gonna take it slow, I think, and just dawdle along. Any any thoughts, Reese? How would you sleep? I slept pretty good. Right, day four. Got cracked on. Sunrise is beautiful. Right, we've just left the youth hostel at uh, Truly Hill. Uh, it was a big climb to get to it, mind. Uh, both had a full English breakfast, a bottle of Pepsi, and some chocolate. Uh, filled our water bottles. I'm feeling pretty heavy at the minute. We've got eight miles to go. Uh, we're both just gassed, to be honest. It's our last night of camping tonight, and then from then on, it's. Uh, we've got a pod tomorrow and then we've got a hotel in Eastbourne so we're nearly there we're just gonna take it really slow today and just plod along Away. Keep going. So we've uh, arrived at Ditchland Beacon. Uh, this is our wild campsite for tonight. So we're just playing the waiting game now, really, just waiting until it gets dark to set the tents up. Uh, we did pass through a village earlier on. Um, went into a church. They quite kindly filled up our water bottles and gave us some cake. So um, that was nice. We paid for it, but <laughs> you know they were, they were nice people anyway. That's what I was getting at. Um, so yeah, plan tonight is to wait for it to get dark, set the tents up, and then watch the boxing. Right, this is tonight's view. Just having a coffee. Taylor's coffee bag. Hot lava java, I think it is. 
and we're also having a reindeer stew. Can't wait. Morning, this is day five now. We're just getting packed up, it's 5 a.m. Uh, we want to be away early today. We've got a pod book tonight at the uh, YHA South Downs, so we're desperate for a shower. Uh, it's been three days since we've showered now. Uh, the tents are just absolutely soaking wet. We've had no rain, it's just condensation, moisture in the air. So yeah, we're just going to get packed up and press on 12 miles to smash out. And he'd come through that barbed wire fence if he wanted to, like. <laughs> he didn't chew enough grass. Finished day five today, finished about one o'clock, 12 miles. Probably one of the worst days we've done. Uh, really suffering now. Uh, last day tomorrow, 17 miles, I believe, into Eastbourne. Uh, we've got a pod tonight, which is a bit of a luxury for us. So we've just got everything washed and we're just drying and airing everything out, as you can see. Day six, Eastbourne, 17 and a half miles. And as you can see, the rain is here. All day. Right, final day. We've just uh, left the youth hostel. We've had a good breakfast, taped our feet up. Rain's holding off for now. For now, I should say. It's gonna come down heavy later on, so 
we're going to press on and make up as many miles as we can we've got a hell of a hill to start with mine but we'll get straight up and then we'll get cracked on You're all right. I'll forgive you. What do you need for your glasses, Reese? Windscreen wipers. Windscreen wipers. All oh, right, so this is the split in the path, we think. Uh, so that way Jevington. is the uh, inland route, and this way is the coastal route, I think. I think we should check. Looks that way. Right, so we'll crack on. So we think we're about eight miles in now. I think we've done all of the sort of mooling section. We're just, we've climbed a hill. Uh, we're about a mile out of Alfriston. Uh, so we think we're getting to the coastal section now, or we should be within the next mile or so. Uh, weather's pretty bleak, mind. Showers are pretty heavy on and off. God, this just goes on. Imagine for <laughs> He's excited for an ice cream. <laughs> I might not be able to stop. <laughs> So these must be the seven sisters and I think we're on number one if I've counted properly
That's this number two. Yeah. Or three. I've lost count. That was two, wasn't it? I think this is three then, isn't it? He's having a tea break race. Yeah, so How many of them have you had? <laughs> On this hill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, miss. Do you need some help? Miss. <laughs> so we're halfway across the Seven Sisters now. They've all got little names. We're on Brass Point, obviously. Six. Yeah. And you're morning. You've got four miles Not to go. On about four miles. When we finish, we're going to turn around and walk back. Yeah. <laughs> That's Beachy Head Lighthouse in the distance there, just in the sea. Don't know if you're picking it up. We're about three miles off now. Ready to finish. I don't know if he's just really far away or he's actually that small. I have to stop now. Yeah. Wasn't funny, was it?
That's it. Finito. Right, I'd just like to make a closing statement. I'd like to thank friends, family, all my 16 subscribers for following me the whole way through all my trials and tribulations, my ups and my downs. But in the end, we got there. See you on the next one. Cut. Don't feel threatened. This is the peak male physical form looking right back at you.